Que eu ouei. Make sure that door's closed, eh? So, listen, obviously, the occasion's now arrived, all right? You can hear the buzz. And the townies you probably arrived in, the fans are now on the ground, all right? The next 90 minutes will probably be the most important 90 minutes in your career, all right? I read up the day that the average man lives to about 77, all right? 40 million minutes in his life, all right? I'm asking you to gear absolute utmost for the next 90. 90 minutes at 40 million, right? That's all I'm asking for, all right? But it's important you understand and remember what's brought us to this point. And it's the values that we've built the club on, we've built the squad on, we've built the group on. And that's trust, belief, respect, togetherness, and love. All right? That's what's brought us here. Everybody thinks about the philosophy in terms of football, and that's important. But the most important philosophy is what we are as people. Right? There's not one person in this room that's here by mistake. Every single one is is here for a purpose. Every single one of these, I knew when I brought you here what I was bringing to the club. And it wasn't just about your football ability. It was about you as individuals, you as men, you as human beings. And the most important part of that is your heart. That was the most important thing to me when I was thought about building this two and a half years ago, right? Everybody in the ground tonight has got dreams. My dream two and a half years ago wasn't about being successful, wasn't about winning trophies. I was confident I would do that. But it's who I've done it with. It's how I've done it. That was my dream. That was the most important thing. And to get that right, I had to bring the right people to the club. The right people, the right heart, the right mindset, who had the same values and beliefs as I had. Right? And I tell you all the time, that's my most important job. That was my most important job at the start of every season, which is to surround you with good people with good hearts. Right? There's a saying that goes around, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You look in this changing room, there's great people everywhere. People who care about you, people who trust you, people who are together with you, people who love you, people who respect you. And that's a remarkable thing to find in life. It's a difficult thing to find. It's unique, right? But that's what we are, that's what we've built. But tonight, we've got one of the biggest games of our careers. And we'll need every part of that. That togetherness, that strength. It's our greatest strength. It's more important than our football ability. The strength we have got, that isn't in that changing room next door. They don't have that. The foundations in that changing room are built for the different foundations for this. I promise you right now, when you cross that white line, they do not have the togetherness you have got. It's no in there. But you must believe in yourself. You must believe in one another. I've told you before, there's not a greater gift you can give somebody and believe in them. But that starts with believing in yourself. And then you need to spread that belief to other people. And I've told you a hundred times, there's nobody believes in you more than I believe in you. Every single one of you. These are great people. And individuals can achieve great things, but together we can achieve greatness. But it goes back to the thing about belief. And there's probably a more important story than if you look at your jersey right, and the sponsorship QTS, there's a story that comes from this community, from this town. And you'll know the guy, a guy called Alan McLeish. He started his company years ago. His mum gave him an investment of £300. He eventually grew it and developed it and sold it for £83 million. That organisation has created so many opportunities in this town. It's changed so many people's lives. But everybody gets focused on the money and the value of the money. But the most important thing it is, is the belief his mum had in him back in the days it was nothing to do with money. The £300 was important. But the most important thing was that mother's belief in her son that he could achieve his dreams. And that's what this night's about. Because we've got the dreams of our community in our hands. And that comes with massive responsibility. But what an opportunity to make people believe, to fulfil their dreams. I know it's hard sometimes 
to dream when you get to your stage in life because the reality is dreams when you're younger. When you're a wee boy, you dream about being a football player, you dream about scoring the goal of Hamden. You dream for playing with Celtic, you dream about playing with Rangers. As life takes over, responsibility comes, the dreaming stops and you're then trying to survive. But it's important to dream. It's what drives ambition. And there's nothing wrong with the night dreaming about being successful because ultimately that's what we're here today. But it's important you understand that the values will underpin everything we achieve tonight. You need to think back to them at every opportunity. And there'll be moments when it's hard, there'll be moments when it's difficult. There'll be moments you doubt yourself. But then you go back to the things we talk about all the time. The things underpin everything we do. It's back to the words and trust and belief and love, respect, togetherness. They're the most important values. And if you need to draw strength for that, then drop for one another. And in the moments when you're doubting yourself, in the moments when it's difficult, the moments when we're in the trenches, then the reality is look around about you. Draw strength for the same people who are standing in the trench and in the stands. Draw your strength for them because they believe in you, they love you, they respect you, they trust you. You're carrying their dreams tonight, you're carrying the dreams of Full Town. And what an opportunity to fulfill their dreams alongside yours. But understand something, lads. What we have is unique. We're a family like no other in football, I promise you that. But not only we're a family, we're an army. And this is your town, this is your home, this is your battleground. But the night our army is no 30 strong, our army is thousands strong. And in those thousands is your own mother, your own father, your own brother, your own sister, your aunties, your uncles, your friends, your children. And what an army we are. And remember the giver, I'm telling you right now, we can achieve it. And when the battle begins, and it will begin soon, you make sure we're at it. You make sure we cross that white line. We are side by side as always. Nobody in front, nobody behind, together, tight, side by side. And when the war begins, and the war will begin, we'll be ready. Because I'm telling you right now, what's in this changing room is unbreakable. So when that whistle goes, be prepared to give everything you've got for each other, for yourself, for your family. Be proud of what you achieved and be proud of what we're going to achieve. Because I promise you right now, we can win this. But it's about belief. That belief starts inside yourself, then it spreads through one another. But you must believe. People talk about underdogs. I'm telling you right now, we're no underdogs. I do not believe it. I've never believed it for the draw has been done. Because I know what's in this change room. I know what's in your hearts. I know when we're together. We can achieve it and we set our mind to but you've got to be hungry, you've got to have the desire in your belly, you've got to draw strength for the crowd, you've got to drop for one another. When you need to find that extra yard, that extra bit of oxygen, then look around about you. Look to your brothers, look to your family. Let's look to the next round. Let's go. Come on.